Hello friends, welcome to Java Tech Guides. Today, um, in this video, we'll be discussing about how to configure JSP in our Spring Boot application. So before going into it, uh, let me create a new project for this. So I will take use of uh, Spring Initializer to create the project. So we'll be um, we'll be uh, using Marvin as our build tool, and we'll be doing uh, this uh, project in uh, Spring uh, Spring uh, three point one point four. Okay, now I'll give uh, the group name um, J T G that is J Java Tech Guide and the artifact name the project name is Spring hyphen boot hyphen wave. Let me give it as JSP demo. And we'll be packaging it as a char. And the required dependencies would be like uh, the dev tool for reloading, for easy development, and uh, the way. So let me create it. So we have uh, created the folder, the project, and let me extract the project here. So this is the JSP home. So it will take. Let me let me um change the version because there is some limitation for uh, of net in for today in my area. So it will not take much time to load. So it was earlier there. Let me close all those other projects so that we can have a better uh, one second we can have a faster building time so let me import our newly created project which is the spring boot JSP demo So this is the project, it's getting validated. Okay. Okay, now, okay. So we have the structure, project structure like this. So under the main, there is a folder web apps because we have selected the packaging at charge. That's the reason it was created here and uh, there is a template folder static folder the static folder will contain um js css static uh, static things right and uh, we'll be keeping the jsp file inside the web inf because that is the main uh, directory to keep um jsp files so let me create web inf in a folder okay now let me create a JSP folder also because we will be keeping the JSP here JSP okay so we are ready with the project structure now let me create a controller for us because we'll be propagating the index space through a controller so let me give it as name as the home controller so here we'll have a because our root directory would be the slash right for our slash so we'll be creating 
our index that initial page um, URL here. So let me give it as a public string load initial page. Okay. Now let me return the page name that is the index page. So let me give the controller git git mapping as value as slash because this is the URL we will be mapping for our index page. So this would be the main URL well we are uh, accessing by port right after the port if we do not give anything to that URL itself will be uh, mapped to here. Okay now coming to the JSP. So this should be the JSP file name because um, we have written right we have a view mapping here. So we are returning the view name. So we have to create the JSP. Let me just JSP file here for an instance. Let me give uh, HTML body. Well, to Java tech guides. So let me keep it as in H1 so that will have a better visibility. So, uh, so we are ready with our JSP file. Now we have to give, we have to define two properties, right? So we have to keep uh, our JSPs in here, right? In web INF JSP under the under web INF JSP folder is there, and under that we have the index.json JSF uh, JSP, right? File. And here in the home controller, we are just returning uh, the file name right file name not the file uh, suffix right not the suffix not the extension so uh, we so how does the spring will know so for that we have two um, two properties to define that is spring mbc Oh, what is that view right mbc view prefix so here we have to give the folder structure of folder the, the location of our jsps uh, after the web app folder so so for our case if we see it is web inf so the under the web app we have a folder web nf under that we have a folder jsp under that we have the uh, we have our jsp files so what we have to define we have to define web nf slash then jsp so up to this we have to give for the prefix and for the suffix the file extension we have to give because we are only uh, returning the file name so that is the jar JSP file. So one more thing. So we are ready with our mappings, uh, with our properties, and we have uh, defined our controller, and we are ready with our JSP file. But in Spring Boot, uh, the JSP compiler uh, by default not enabled. So to enable uh, the JSP 
a compiler we have to add a dependencies in our project that is the jasper dependencies which will eventually uh, uh, responsible for compiling the jsp to uh, servlets so let me um, add that that is the group id is org dot apache org dot apache dot john cat enabled that is the group id and the artifact id is um, the jasper the term card embedded jasper so this is the so we'll be elim eliminating the Person, because that is uh, that will be managed through Spring transitive dependency management. So provided, let me give it as provided. The scope is provided, and here, okay. Now, oh sorry, we have added already. Here. Okay, now we have added it. Let me restart the server. Let me start the server for us. So, okay, now this is the compiler. Let me go to localhost 8080 and here we are getting the welcome message okay now let me put a uh, link here anchor link it's a diff let me put a link which will uh, <coughs> navigate to a new so let's say home base will uh, navigate to a new page that means uh, so if we click on this uh, link it will be a uh, navigate to a uh, another page so let me create the page um, you know, it is the file home.jsp So here simply we are uh, will be showing some text here. Body. Okay. Now it's to the tag. So the home page. Now this is done. The page is ready for us. Now we'll be adding a controller method controller method to map that page to a url so that is our home url as we have given in this href right so this is our home url and here i have given load home page let's say this is the home page and here we have to change it to our page name so let me terminate it and restart it again okay now the server is restarted let me uh, refresh the index page so this is the index page here we have a home button and on clicking on, on that home we are navigated to a new page so that's all about the JSP configuration, right? So, so JSP configuration for uh, a Spring Boot application. So we have, so the main main points are here. So we have to add the dependency of uh, Tomcat embedded Jasper jar in our project. That is the main dependencies, which is uh, which, which is responsible for compiling the JSP files. And in the web, web app folder, we have to keep, we have to keep the JSP under the web app folder, whether we, whether we want to keep it in web.inf or any other file, other folder, but it has to be kept in, uh, in web uh, app folder. And 
and the third point he is to provide the prefix and the suffix here so that is the mbc view prefix and the suffix the view prefix is the folder location um, in which the jsp files is residing um, so from uh, under the web inf right and this is the prefix of the file that is the suffix of the file so that's all about uh, today's video so if you uh, like this video please hit the like button and subscribe us for more videos thank you